Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and I am the owner of Kiss Custom Designs. That is my Etsy shop. Um, I do a lot of kids items and I'm very more into the adult world. Um, and today's video, I'm just going to show you the products I use every single day that I embroider. Um, hopefully I don't forget anything, but I'm just going to take you through it. Um, Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes in my last video because I'm recording this the same day. Because I know some people will come for me in the comments. And even if I did, okay? I love this sweater. Small business, big goals. You can get this at AngelaJazmina.com while supplies last, of course. Um, and if you haven't watched the video where I made these, you can go watch that video. Oh, man. So, if you didn't know, I have one, two, three, four, five, six embroidery machines. These two are my babies. They're my newest machine. They are the Melco EMT 16X embroider machines. If you're interested in purchasing them, I'll put my information to my sales rep. His name is Todd Eggersman. And if you mention Angela from YouTube, you will get the best deal ever. So I'll go ahead and contact him. His name is Todd, like I just said, I think. And then I have uh, a six needle brother machine, a six needle baby lock machine, and a 10 needle, I believe that's brother. Yes, a 10 needle brother machine and I also have my OG original baby lock alliance machine. Um, so I use all of them on the daily, every single day, besides the one needle. I don't use that as much anymore, but in case I have a crazy day and I have so many orders, I'm just not going to get rid of him. He's so special to me, my first, my baby lock alliance. So. I have quite a few machines. I do mostly kids items, but on um, since I have the Melcos, I do do I do do I do a lot of adult items, and will be doing more in the future. They are my warriors over here, but like I said, I use all my machines. So because I have multi needle machines, which are these more than one needle means multi needle. I know I have a lot of new people on the channel. Um, I use Mighty Hoops. I don't use any hoops other than the Mighty Hoops. Those are for multi-needle machines. Um, the tubular arm, which means like this little piece here, is like a little thing that sticks out. It's not for the flatbed machines, um, like the P800, for example. So I use Mighty Hoops. My go-to size, I'm gonna show you what a Mighty Hoop is. This right here is a Mighty Hoop. They are magnetic hoops, and these help with like hoop burn, um, which is when you put the hoop on traditional hoop inside of a shirt it'll leave a huge ring they help with it black shirts you can't help because it's black it happens but this helps a lot and to get hoop burnt out i use a heat press that's another thing i use every day um i have the stalls fusion iq heat press so you can get that link is in the description for that as well and that helps get out hoop burn using the heat press um if you don't have a heat press you can always use an iron but i just wanted to mention i'm not going through my entire shirt making process in my head so i always use mighty hoops i also use aj blank's t-shirts these are um let me open it so i can show you they are boutique quality shirts they're made for embroidery you can also use heat transfer vinyl on them but they are thick nice soft thick stretchy um so it holds up well to embroidery there's nothing worse than using a different blank and it rips a hole um so these are it's not focusing on me these are made uh for embroidery so i have these in white i have them on black long sleeve short sleeve i have onesies um boys black white gray we will be carrying red and blue next month in january so stay tuned for that we also have baby gowns baby hats so you can check check out ajblanks.com we ship usually same or next day I know the camera keeps unfocusing, I'm sorry. I talk with my hands too much and all the colors behind me distract the camera. So I apologize for that. Please bear with me. I use AJ Blanks shirts, that's important. Mighty Hoops and then for stabilizer. Stabilizer is super important when you are making a design because it can alter the way your design comes out on your shirt. Um, having great quality garment first is important. Um, so there's a rule if you wear it, you don't tear it, meaning you don't use tear away stabilizers. But I break that rule. Um, when I started, that's all I did. I only used tear away. Um, right now, I am using cutaway stabilizer because my Melco machines, they're so fast that you cannot use tear away with them. It doesn't 
it doesn't work well. So I use cutaway stabilizer on my brother's six needles, baby lock one needle, the 10 needle I used um, tearaway stabilizer. The tearaway stabilizer I used was World Wiener, Wiener, I don't know how to say it, stabilizer from Amazon. I used the pre-cut sheets, medium weight tearaway is what I used. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna buy two different stabilizers, there's no point. So right now I use the All Stitch Classic Cutaway, the 12 by 12 inch pre-cut sheets. Um, I use those because they fit on the Mighty Hoop. This is what the sheets look like. They are tear they are cut away, so you have to cut them away from, um, you cut them at when you're done embroidering, and you cut around the design. You cut as close as you can. Um, and like I said, these fit on the 12 by 12 hoop. That way, um, here's, so I can show you. It has a little bit of extra space. You don't want stabilizer that is too small because it doesn't give you the proper stability. So along with these, I also have the Mighty Hoop backing holders. This makes it super easy to hoop um, because before you would have to push the stabilizer inside the shirt and this just makes it so much easier. Um, you literally put the stabilizer on the shirt, on the hoop I mean. Hold on, let me try to show you. It's hard to do it in the air. I don't know why I'm doing it in the air, but I'm doing it in the air. So you put the stabilizer like this. And then you place this piece on top. It's not going to be perfect because I'm doing it in the air. And then you just push the sides down. And it just holds the stabilizer for you. And you put it in the garment. Make sure you take it off before you put it on the machine. This piece. So it just makes it so much easier. It saves so much time. I used to hate hooping stabilizer. But now it's so much easier with this piece. So I got this from MightyHoop.com. And you also can get the hoops from MightyHoop.com. If you do get a Melco, you can order your Mighty Hoops um, from Todd um, as well. Just wanted to mention that. So, I'm already with the shirt, the hoops, the, the, the Mighty Hoops, the backing holder, the stabilizer, thread. I use, you're going to see a mess, but I use Madeira Poly Neon Embroidery Thread. I get it from AllStitch.com as well. They are about $7.95 a cone. These are 55, no, five, these are 5,000 meters. They do sell the smaller cones as well if you have like a P800, um, but the smaller cones is like $2.95 and this big cone is way bigger and you get way more. So if you buy the big cones, even if you have a P800, you can buy a thread stand from Amazon and use the big cones. It just puts it next to your machine. So you can save money there. All about saving money. So um, I use my dear Poly Neon Thread, um, 40 weight, 40 weight. Um, I also use, on the daily, a USB drive. This is what I use to save all my designs from my computer to my machines, all of my machines, okay? So I save it from a Brilliance Essentials. That is also something I use. That's my embroidery software in Brilliance Essentials. It's to merge designs. So like if you buy a design off of Etsy and you want to add a name to it, change colors, you would need a Brilliance Essentials. So I'll link that down below as well. They are 10% off. The software is 10% off um, until December 15th. So get that down below. Code THANKFUL20. Um, so I use a USB stick every single day. Try to have some extras in case you lose it. And have an external hard drive to save all your designs so that you don't lose your designs. Um, I also use these Fisker Curved Scissors. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them from Walmart. But I have found that Amazons end up to be better than Walmarts. I don't know why, but Walmarts tend to be like sticky and stuck to each other and not as good as Amazons. But I use these scissors. I also use canned air. I get this from allstitch.com as well. And I use it to spray the dust out of my embroidery machines. Um, I also use magnetic um, L-shaped bobbins. I get these from, you can get them from Allstitch, United Thread, wherever you want, Amazon. Um, I use these bobbins for all my embroidery machines, um, all my multi needle embroidery machines. They are magnetic, so that helps with thread breaks because it pulls at a consistent rate since it is magnetic. That helps a lot. I also use... I also use this little duster to get dust out of my other machines if I need. Um, other tools I use, I use 
this is an oil pen so it makes it so much easier to oil on my machines you can get an oil pen from all stitch this is a madeira one i believe all stitch sells them if they don't check united thread um as well it's like united tps for united thread so a oiling pen uh works amazing um i use these organ needles these are for the melco i know it's not focusing um, these are the 65.9 ballpoint needles. That's for the Melco. For my other machines, I use the Organ 75.11 uh, ballpoint needles. You can get them from Amazon, Allstitch, wherever. I also use fabrics for applique. You can get fabrics from kidscustomdesigns.com. You can get them from Joann's, Walmart, um, any type of fabric. Um, I also use glitter, heat transfer vinyl. You can get these from kidscustomdesigns.com. I can show you real quick. I use these for appliques. Um, I have the sheets. So here's some of the colors I have. I have a lot more colors on kidscustomdesigns.com, but just showing you a few. I use these, and to use these, you would peel off the top clear sheets and then use them for applique and just rip it away. You don't even have to cut it if you don't want to. Um, I also use a limp brush. You don't need to get this big one. You can get smaller ones, the mini ones, so you can get the excess pieces off when you're cutting your appliques. Um, I also use heat and bond light. I get these huge bolts off of Amazon. Um, you want to use this when you're doing appliques on the back of your fabrics before you start embroidery. That way it helps with fraying and it makes it so much easier to cut and your design looks so much crisper when you are done. Um, I also use embroidery vinyl. This is an example of our uh, aqua mermaid scale embroidery vinyl. This is canvas back vinyl. Um, you can use this. We also have glitter embroidery reflective canvas vinyl from kidscustomdesigns.com. Get those. There's just so many different things I use. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. I know somebody's gonna come at me and say, you forgot this, but hey, if I forgot anything, someone will mention it in the comments. You can always check the comments. I really cannot think if I'm missing anything else that I use on a daily basis. Tender Touch, I did remember one. So this is Tender Touch. This is what covers the embroidery on the inside of the shirt so it doesn't irritate the child's skin. Um, so I use this. It is the Sulky, Sulky brand Tender Touch. You can get it from Amazon, Joann's, um, What's it called? All Stitch has their own version of this. Um, you can get it. It's not called uh, Tender Touch. It's called, I think, like, is it Cloud Cover? Or, no, I think it's called Cover a Stitch. Let me look real quick. Yeah, it's called Cover a Stitch. It's cheaper than Tender Touch. It works just as well. Um, one thing I don't like is that it's not nine inches. It is, I believe, seven or eight inches instead, which makes a difference for my designs. Uh, I use it on mostly my onesies or smaller designs. So yeah, those are pretty much all the supplies I use on a daily. Every single day I embroider items. You can get it's like shipping supplies, packaging, but maybe I could do that for another video. Um, just so you know, the AJ Blanks do come inside of these bags. So you can use these bags when you're done, when you embroider them. Like I did with this one, this one's done. And you put it right back in the bag and use this instead of purchasing a whole nother bag from amazon save you 10 cents and just reuse these bags that saves uh money there okay so that is pretty much it for today's video i did want to mention if you're buying anything from aj blanks or kids custom designs i suggest using ups um the post office is so 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 backed up right now um that it's just taking way too long to get your items to you and i apologize for that but Nothing I can do, but I still feel bad. So I suggest using UPS. They are a lot quicker right now. I mean, maybe a dollar or two more, depending on where you live, but you'll get your items so much faster. So please, I highly suggest using UPS for AJ Blanks or Kids Custom Designs, just so that you guys can get your items quickly. If you're curious about any of the thread colors that I use most often, I do have a video about that. So you can go back to my channel and search like thread and a video will come up with me showing you my thread colors and the most popular ones I use so that you guys can get the same colors as I do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!